Hello everyone and welcome to Unsung Heroes. In this series, we look at characters that are underappreciated, underused, or just plain forgotten to see what they can really do. The subject today is Sarah. Sarah is a colorless infantry healer with 148 BST. Unlike a lot of old units who spend too many points on HP, Sarah uses her stats elsewhere. With 30 attack, 31 speed, 21 defense, and 33 res, Sarah is shockingly well-rounded for a 148 BST unit. She is weak to physical damage, but that's true for most ranged units anyway. The thing I like most about Sarah is her flexibility. First, she has the res deploy. Second, she has the attack and speed to contribute damage. Third, she's a decent magical wall. Sarah can do everything you'd ever need a healer to do. She might be less powerful than other choices, but she can perform more functions and brings along a lot of utility. As a well-rounded unit, Sarah also benefits immensely from summoner support. She wants every stat, but the HP in particular is a big deal. Sarah's base kit is almost not worth mentioning. Absorb plus, recover plus, swift winds bomb, and hone attack. While absorb and recover are fine abilities, using Sarah to the fullest will require a lot of investment. Let's take a look at a few builds. As always, these aren't the only builds that work, and I encourage you to experiment on your own and find something you personally like. We'll start off with a build inspired by fellow YouTuber and Fire Emblem Heroes madman Lu Bu, a close counter vantage build using Pain and Savage Blow. The reason this works is obvious. You bomb the enemy with chip damage and then secure kills with close counter and vantage. We do sacrifice res to help with survivability against distant counter. You can sacrifice defense or HP if you want, but doing so puts you at much greater risk of dying on retaliation. If the enemy doesn't retaliate, you can't enter vantage range. But on the other hand, if the enemy doesn't retaliate, then you just got to hit them with pain and savage blow for free. If you prefer, you can replace the wrathful refine with the dazzling one instead. Next up, we have a more disruptive support build using attack speed bond and double ploy. I'm using panic in this example, but the weapon is flexible. If Bond is active, Sarah initiates at 5043. That's not too shabby considering she still has 37 res and double ploys. With attack tactic, that becomes 5643, more than enough to deal meaningful damage. The ploys and other debuffs are flexible, but I feel like attack and speed ploy are the best in a vacuum. Res ploy is a consideration if Sarah needs to bring more damage herself. If you're feeling really ambitious, you could even go for a triple debuff build running a fear or slow staff alongside double ploys. Basically, mix and match debuffs until you find something that meshes well with your team. The special and assist bring more utility by granting buff and cleanse access. Wind Firebomb is a gigantic stat swing, and Restore Plus can flip the table on enemies that rely on debuffs themselves. I feel like this build is Sarah at her best. Sure, she isn't perfect, you could easily design a unit that's better than she is at any of these jobs, but not many units could do all of them at the same time. Finally, we have a hybrid build. We ditch pain, but keep close counter, and then rely on some buffs and debuffs for team utility. The end result is an enemy phase healer set with some offensive support potential. As usual, we invest into Sarah's speed and combine it with speed ploy. Speed is crucial for enemy phase Sarah. Getting doubled will kill her most of the time. We then use the Razzle Dazzle Fear Staff and speed ploy to give us access to significant offensive debuffs. These help your teammates as well as Sarah herself. Just like the last build, this one brings a lot of utility thanks to Restore, Wind Firebomb, debuffs, and high speed. Sarah can be relevant in a wide variety of situations. Overall, Sarah is one of my favorite unsung heroes. Healers in general are really good, even the old ones, and players who need help in conquering difficult content should seriously consider them as investment options. Razzle Dazzle debuffs, damage, or movement restriction can trivialize a staggering amount of content. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. You can find me on Twitter at DireThunderYT, so feel free to send me cool stuff or just drop by to say hello. As always, I hope to see you next time. Take care.